When you first install Graham's Karaoke System, a freeware audio grabber, named audio grabber, is also installed. Now this is a very reliable product for ripping karaoke discs as well. Uh, it's been pre-configured to store the files in a certain directory. To use it, you start the program, you'll get this tip of the day. If you don't want to see those, just unclick the show tips at startup and click on OK. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put a disk in here. Uh, if it's connected to the internet, the program will actually go out and try to retrieve the title of the disk, the artist, etc. And as you see, it's pulled up the information we need. Now, there's a couple of fields that are important. Uh, if it was a compilation disk, compilate, or if it was not a compilation disk, in other words, it was a single artist, you would not have this artist name, uh, and you would just enter the artist name here. But in this case, I do not need that field. When you use the artist field, it's going to create a separate subdirector. Actually, I'll leave it in and I'll show you what happens. The album number is also very important. It's your disk ID. So it might be, if it was sound choice, 123 or something, it would be SC123 or whatever you want to put there. In this case, I'm just going to put KP Family Favorites 1. Enter. Now to rip all the songs, you check everything. In this case, I'm just going to rip one song, so I'm going to uncheck everything by clicking in this bottom little white box. Then I'll go back up the top and click on uh, one track. You use this grab to grab just an MP3, like a DJ song, but to do karaoke, you've got to come up to the CD Go down to Grab CDG Tracks Karaoke and then Grab to CDG plus Compressed File. And then this will take a few seconds to uh, rip the one track. You see how the speed changes a little bit. Uh, this button down here where my mouse is, that's actually an eject button. So I'll eject that disk and I'll put another disk in. This one the, uh, does not exist on the online database or FreeDB, as it's called. You see the little penguin at the top? If you click on the penguin, that actually gives you the ability to uh, manually search for a disk name. Okay, so the disk is in while we you give it a couple of minutes to refresh or a couple of seconds. And what you're going to find is it's probably going to come up with track one. Oh, there we go, right there. Now this was again a compilation disk, which means each artist was different on each track. If I click compilation, I can enter the artist name, the track name. I'm actually not sure what it, what songs are on here, so I'm just going to pretend and say this is a, a Toby Keith song, or Toby Keith disc, and they're all Toby Keith. So we're going to have Toby Keith, and I don't know, we'll call it Sound Choice 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, as I'm only going to do one track, um, do this one. Now if I double click on this, I can actually click here once and let me edit it. Or if I double click, I will get the title and the artist, the uh, chance to enter it. But in this case, it's only the title. Here for my horses. And press enter. And now again, I'm going to rip it. Grab CDG tracks to karaoke and grab to CDG plus compressed. And 
as you can see the speed changes depending on whether the uh, disc has got fingerprints on it or scratched or whether it's clean a lot of things can affect that okay so I'm just going to eject that one and just to show you what it's done let me pull this over here and as I said it goes to Cure Songs directory it's set up that way here you see the artist has a separate uh, folder and then the various uh, artist has a separate folder and then here's the beer for the horses, beer for my horses uh, disc or a song and if we go back to various it'll be that Mitch Miller one and again so that's pretty well it. it's real, relatively easy to do uh, now some of the settings you can do and as I said it's also a very good uh, for ripping um, DJ discs or whatever if you go into general settings you want to change where you're storing the songs and this saves by session so the next time you open it it'll still be the same thing if I wanted to have a directory for music I just go and put it in a separate directory for say mp3s or whatever here's the artist naming uh, conventions and here's the reason you get two directories when you do it you've got the artist as a directory and the album as a directory uh, one other useful setting here is under free db if you find that uh, when you put the disk in it's not querying the FreeDB database you have to manually hit the penguin just click on uh, auto query, query make sure it's clicked on to uh, look for a disk online if it's not you just click on this and it will look to find it to see if it's got record of the disk Thank you for watching this and have fun.